Welcome to Top Echelon TV. I'm Mark Demery. And I'm Drea Cotaspodi. Drea, this week in the Pinnacle Newsletter, we're going to release the first quarter stats. So in this episode of Top Echelon TV, let's go ahead and give an overview of those stats, as well as some tips on how to use Top Echelon to its fullest. That's right. In 2009, we had a lot of decline in a lot of things. So here, here's some of the major indicators that we saw a uh, hit you know, from the uh, effects in 2009. Number of job orders was down. Yeah. Number of candidates were down. Face-to-face -face interviews offers accepted and completed placements were all down in the network. Yeah, they sure were. And when those are down, of course, it's going to be a tough year. Then all of a sudden, November hits, I'd say mid-November, and we start seeing some of those trends reverse. Mm -hmm. Not all of them, but we saw uh, at least they weren't going down. They, they flatlined a little bit, and then they start going up, and then the first quarter hit. Right. And along, along those lines, uh, in, the, in that, you know, the later stages of uh, last uh, for fourth quarter, were a lot of activity from people's can, uh, clients. Yeah. They, were, they were having good things to say. They were starting to open up job orders that um, they might not have opened up earlier in the year. So that started to give us some promise for 2010. Yeah, a lot of positive conversations. And then first quarter hit, and we start seeing the number of jobs coming into the network increase. Matter of fact, right now we have more jobs in the network than we did last year at this time. And this is the first time that's happened, well, in over a year. Yeah, 18 months. Uh, the number of offers are up. And I, I think one of the most positive signs, other than the offers are up, are the number of completed placements in February were up 3.3%, and then in March... 25%. Yeah, they went up 25%, so that's a great trend to see. Right. And, of course, the conversations are getting more positive, and our, the recruiters are seeing more activity from the clients. Yes, from all the recruiters that I've been speaking to uh, lately, everybody is... Uh, some people are actually so busy they don't know what to do. Yeah. And that's always good. Now, one of the indicators that we've seen um, continue to decline, but not as much as in 2009, are the number of candidates in the network or the number of candidates being submitted uh, to the network. Those are still being, uh, uh, those are still declining. Right. Not as much as 2009. But just a little bit. Just a little bit. Right. Now, the top five job order disciplines in the network this time are healthcare, engineering, service, information technology, and manufacturing. Yeah, and the top five disciplines as far as placements in the first quarter, uh, the top discipline is manufacturing, information technology, healthcare, engineering, and then sales and marketing rounds out the top five uh, disciplines for placements. That's right, and accounting and finance was right below yeah. uh, sales and marketing. You're right, it sure was. Uh, for a complete breakdown of all the stats for the first quarter, make sure you read this week's Pinnacle because we've laid that all out in that issue. That's right. Now, here's a little, uh, we always try to give you a little nugget every week. And this week, it's uh, basically tips that are going to lead you to splits. Yeah. And we're going to go into the golden rules of the network. And the first one, which is always the most important, is always treat top echelon members and top echelon network candidates with respect and professional courtesy. What does this mean? Give them feedback, maintain professionalism, and with every bit of correspondence, whether it's a phone call, a voicemail, or an email. Yeah, treat them like you'd want to be treated or like you would treat a client. That's right. I'd say the second tip was always include a candidate profile along with your resume mm -hmm. when you're sending it to another recruiter. For instance, if you had a job order and I'm sending you a candidate, I'm going to send you the resume along with the RDS because I want to give you as much information as possible. That's right. That presentation to me for my job order is very important. I want to know everything I can about that client before I move. Yeah, and I would say another tip would be to send the at least the job order ID so you know what job order I'm sending these candidates for. It would be even better if I sent a copy of that job order. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that wraps it up for this week's uh, episode of Top Echelon TV. Make sure you read the Pinnacle Newsletter and check back with us next week. That's I'm Mark Demery. And I'm Drea Cotaspodi. Have a great week.